This is non-calculator question 17 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives you an equation with a rational expression and says, what is the solution to the equation above? Since we're finding the solution, most of the shortcuts don't work. So I will notice 11 and 33 have a common factor of 11. So that's 11 times x minus 3, because 11 times x is 11x. 11 times negative 3 is negative 33 over x minus 3, and that expression is equal to x. Since any expression over itself is 1, x minus 3 over x minus 3 is 1, and it simplifies to x equals 11, so the solution would be 11. In this case, I just had to factor out a common factor and recognize that's what I needed to do. If I did not recognize that, I could take 11x minus 33 over x minus 3 equals x. Multiply both sides by x minus 3. And I get x minus 3 times 1 over x minus 3 is 1. 11x minus 33 equals x times x minus 3. Hopefully we recognize that this has a factor of x minus 3. If not, I can distribute 11x minus 33 equals x squared minus 3x. Subtract 11x from both sides, and that's negative 33 equals x squared minus 14x. Add 33 to both sides, and that gives me 0 equals x squared minus 14x plus 33. Let's rewrite that up here. x squared minus 14x plus 33 equals 0. And to solve a quadratic, I'm either going to factor or use the quadratic formula. In this case, I'll definitely try factoring first. My factors start with x. They're both in minus because the final constant is positive and the middle term is negative. I need two numbers. The product is 33 and their sum is 14, so that would be 3 and 11. So this product is 0, either x minus 3 equals 0, meaning x equals positive 3. But that does not work here because if x equals 3, my denominator is 3 minus 3, which is 0. And I'm not allowed to divide by 0. Or x minus 11 equals 0. So x equals positive 11. And that would be my answer. It is much easier to solve this by factoring the numerator than it is by multiplying both sides by x minus 3, essentially cross multiplying. But both methods work. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.